Hello again, guys and girls, and welcome to Amnesia The Dark Descent, episode 8. Um, I did just have some problems with the, um, with the, the loading and the sound, which I don't know why that happened, that's never happened to me before. Uh, it, it, it somehow just didn't record anything and it didn't play, uh, and all you could hear was me. I it might be even doing it again, I just, I don't want to record something that only has my voice in it, because I am one boring ass bitch. So if I've lost any quality here, or I've missed out on a little bit, you haven't missed much. I'm going to the north block now, um, after chipping away at the stones on the floor. Uh, we went down to storage, I think, and had nothing in there, but I, d I don't know, my game, uh, my quality and all that stuff's gone, so... Yeah, right, so you've missed out probably on a little block. I did run into one or two monsters. I did actually just do a whole episode, but I think I might have just... I don't know, the quality might have gone on it, but you ain't missed out on much, I'm telling you that now. So, right, we've got the kitchen, and then... Oh. Oh, bloody keys, man. And then we've got storage. Right, cool, so... Uh, we'll go this way. Up to the kitchen. Uh, I was actually... Oh, there you go, i start recording now, sorry. Um, I start... I've got a timer here, so I need to keep that in check. August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Okay, so, um, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, God, I'm completely lost. It's a Sunday. I had my friend sleep round. I barely got any sleep as it was. I woke up this morning and they're all gone. So I feel like I'm kind of crazy. What is that? Ah, acid. There's a barrel filled with acid in the kitchen. Have we still got the chemistry pot? No, we haven't. God damn it. Is there actually any pots or anything? Or I'm guessing that acid's going to be needed. I'm trying to think how. Is there anything in here I can carry? That's oil. Pig ears. Okay, we haven't. We we have no need for that oil, even though it's there. Okay. No, oh, let me sort out my mouse quick. Oh. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Well, that sound. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Okay, there he is. Mm, don't you dare, don't you dare. Is he gone? Okay, he's gone. There he is, hobbling off. Okay. Oh, my God. Intense. Intense. When it gets intense, I focus. And when I focus, I don't play. I don't talk. I focus. I sweat. Right, so we need to go to storage now then. Help me. 
the hell? Oh. Okay, so... Anyway. Right, we're going to storage. Storage is where we need to go. I'm thinking there's probably going to be a vat or something or something we can carry the acid in. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, uh. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Oh, the Wii was there! <laughs> I thought he was. Oh my god. Shit. My intelligence passes me. Oh fuck, I thought it was coming in. Okay. So there's two of them, three of them, because I did see one earlier, but he disappeared. Oh, there's loads in this cell area. Okay, am I going insane? Alright, my head's... Oh, okay. Right, we'll read this note. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Okay. Okay. He escaped. Where is he now? I'm guessing that's Alexander of Brennenberg. One that's like giving orders to these gatherers. I thought he bashed open this lock. No, he didn't. Right, so storage. Nah, I wouldn't like that. I don't need to be lit. That does. Alright. Let's grab as much as we can. And hope for the best. Ah, there's the chemistry pot. Or the glass jar, as it's called. Oh, look, more explosives. Bang, we didn't die because we're pros. Right. So now we need to go and get that acid. Yay! This time we don't have to make it, it's just there. Uh... <gasps> the bro! He's coming! He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming! Right, we'll, we'll sit here in this corner, because it's safe and it's dark, kind of. We'll just sit here. Don't say I've glitched. I've glitched. Right, okay, you just gotta jump out of it. Let us play the waiting game. I can say I don't like these cell block areas. They're especially nasty. Okay, right, it seems like he's gone. See if we can get out of the corner. Alright, that gate there is still blocked up. And we are looking for. Oh, yeah, I have a ton of my lamp wrong there. Cause myself harm. Alright, let's go to the kitchen. Keep 
in there and banging and shit, and I don't like it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay, well, that was a mighty fun... Oh crap. He's back, he's back, he's back, he's back! Look! <laughs> I do not like these things! Ah! Oh my god, I hate these creatures, man. They're fucking scary. So these things, these gatherers. I think they are called gatherers, aren't they? Because they're like the tormented souls of the damned, or... Okay, he's not in it. He's gone. He's gone away... ...to play another day. He's gone down, going to the left, watch him hobble along. Look at that AS. Look at that AS. Look at him hobble, it's funny. It's like he's tap dancing for some shit. Alright, he went down the other way, so I'm guessing where do we need to go? Okay, I have no idea. I'm doing this blind, to be honest. Because I don't know where I'm going. Well, there was a keypad dead. Alright, can we burn it, or...? It'll do no good. Okay, so that's pointless. Um, right, we... we <sighs> Right, we went up to storage, we went up to the kitchen, so I'm guessing we just go the other way. Probably. Alright, we'll go this way. Lovely. So some random dead guy. Ah, a note. Oh. 4th of August, 1839. <sighs> the nightmares woke me in the early morning. And for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlour. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Okay, so... We're getting to know more of what happened with Daniel. Oh, he's in the... Oh, the butt! Not another one. Oh, he's coming in here, isn't he? He's coming in here. Oh, he's coming in here. If I die... Oh, he's here. He's like, here. Oh man, this is horrible. This game. Godforsaken game. Oh, he was like, literally right there.
crap out of out of oil. Right, where am I going? No, I've been to the kitchen. Is that the way out? Oh, have we found the way out? Ah, oh, yes, finally. Oh. Ha ha ha. La la la. What's the bro doing? Whoa, man. Damn, look at them titties. Let me take a screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at them fan ass titties. Damn, he looks. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Okay, he just wanted me to take a picture because he's a dirty slut. <laughs> oh god, right. Oh. Enough of this game now. Uh, if the quality of this video isn't good, I'm probably just going to upload it anyway. Uh, even if the sound isn't all there. Because um, I don't want you guys missing out on all the important bits, but then that was... That was specifically there to scare me, not to add storyline or, you know, that, not that much, just from the notes and stuff. But anyway, uh, I want to say thank you for watching. Um, you know, give us a like, give us a comment, give us a subscribe. I will have custom stories soon after I finish this game. Okay, anyway, I'll see you guys later. i got to run the hoover around and trim the beard. Bye-bye.